Ever wondered why your carefully curated living space still feels a tad off, despite those trendy accessories and Pinterest-worthy decor? Hi, I'm Cassandra, interior designer to the stars. Let's dive right into the common pitfalls of interior design, exploring the mistakes even the most stylish make. Stick around. I've got the fixes to turn your space from meh to marvelous. Rug that's too small? Your living space can be elevated with a fabulous rug. It defines the living area in an open plan room and grounds your furniture. When buying a rug, however, the most frequent error people make is selecting one that is too small for the space and furniture. A too small rug is usually positioned far from the room's furnishings, creating an uneven and unwelcoming impression. Here's how to fix it. Before shopping, measure your living room and the primary furniture items. Ideally, the rug you choose should be large enough to accommodate the essential furniture items on top. This will define the living space and give it some structure. Your television is the focus of the room. Many homeowners opt for an oversized television, centering all furniture around it and inadvertently sidelining the social aspect of the family room. The living room is a space for the family to interact with each other, and a too large TV focuses all eyes away from cherished loved ones. If it's not the main attraction in your living room, the television might nonetheless play a significant role in it. Keep it as hidden as possible, and design a space that serves as a viewing area and a place to unwind and mingle. Consider built-in wall cabinetry or ready-made cabinets with shelves to draw attention away from the television. Use open sections for books, photos, and ornaments. Additionally, think about having a smaller TV in the living room and reserving the oversized screen for a media or spare room hidden behind closed doors. Sofa that's too big. Balance, people, balance. The most common mistake individuals make when choosing a couch for their living room is choosing one that is too large. Bigger is not always better. Overwhelming a room with a too large couch can impact the overall feel and flow of your living space. Here's my tip. Measure your living room, the other furniture, and the sofa you have your eye on before you buy. Start with a floor plan to ensure the space's scale and proportion of work. Consider the style of the sofa based on room size, opting for a couch on legs and with narrow arms for compact spaces, and a more substantial one for larger rooms. And here's my pro tip. If a floor plan is not easily obtained, measure the size of a possible couch on the floor using painter's tape or newspaper to evaluate the measurements. Bad lighting. This is one of my pet peeves. A poor lighting scheme can absolutely ruin a space. Light can be used to define a space or used to highlight a particular design element in a room, like a painting, for example. But when the lighting scheme is an afterthought, it creates a nightmare of dark shadows and poor visual appeal. Overhead fixtures just don't cut it anymore. You need to set the vibe with intention. Channel your inner Joanna Gaines and invest in warm cafe lighting, sconces, and accent lamps. Pro tip, hang string lights absolutely everywhere. Spoiler alert, I don't actually recommend this, but my clients, people love it. Create an innovative, layered lighting scheme with different sources like ceiling pendants, table and floor lamps, and up or down lights. Dimmers allow you to adjust lighting levels for various occasions. This layered approach accommodates different tasks simultaneously without disturbance. Tiny coffee table. This is something I often chastise my celebrity clients for. Coffee tables that are too small for the space, making the entire area look unimpressive. A small coffee table can look visually off and disrupt the cohesion and comfort of the space. To combat this imbalance, some of my clients position the coffee table too far from the furniture to try to create the illusion of a balanced room. But then it is too far away to provide any function, like putting your coffee mug on. Choose a coffee table that is in proportion with the room, sofa, and any armchairs. Ensure it visually complements the space and is practical for daily use. For a well-balanced living room arrangement, consider both practicality and beauty. Measure carefully the available space to find a coffee table that fits comfortably within the seating area. Thank me for that million dollar tip later. 
color disaster. I see plenty of homes where the wrong colors can make a space feel unwelcoming and off-putting. Color is so powerful, and it can really set the tone for your home. If you choose colors that are too harsh or clashing, it can make your home feel chaotic and stressful. On the other hand, if you choose colors that are too bland or muted, it can make your home feel boring and lifeless. It's important to strike a balance and choose colors that complement each other and reflect your personal style. Consider moodier tones like forest green, rich navy, or terracotta inspired by nature. Or dip your toes into the latest bold paint trends like dusty rose, sage green, or cobalt. Basically stop painting every room various shades of white. This is your chance to be bold and creative, but don't go overboard, please. I hope you got some good inspiration today. Don't forget to tell me in the comments what design elements you want me to cover in future videos. This is Cassandra saying goodbye for now.